can't tell you guys how excited I am to get this thing back out on the track. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. Got something pretty exciting today. So Stage Fright is finally hitting the track. Uh, you see her here behind me. So uh, we got it all ready to go and we just gotta get loaded up and we'll be hitting the road. Yeah, next weekend we're gonna be heading to Lakeview with the white car. Um, I'm trying to bring this thing as a backup car just in case something happens because we're in a pretty tight points battle with uh, the SCDRA stuff. So we're running third right now. And, you know, after the Florence race, you know, it might have given us enough to possibly move into second. I don't know. I haven't done the math on that yet, so, so don't quote me, but uh, that was actually an alternate points race. What it does is it takes the place of one of our worst finishes, which was Sonoya earlier in the year when um, I hit the inside wall and, you know, messed up the car pretty bad. But, yeah, we just got to get stage fright here washed up. Uh, I already got the truck loaded and then we got to put her on the trailer and we'll be hitting the road. It might just be me today because Sabrina's not feeling well, Brandon's sick, uh, Jason, you know, he's really busy with uh, his truck and stuff right now, so he doesn't know if he's going to be able to come or not, but I am actually going to go by his house. Um, I'm going to steal a couple tires and stuff, maybe some fuel too, but <laughs> I don't know, hopefully he'll get everything done and he can come. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to get this thing back out on the track. You know, it's probably been close to two or three years since it's last seen the track. So uh, when I raced it last time, you know, there was a big hole in the track and I'd hit it, all four tires come off the ground. I slammed the outside wall, destroyed everything on the right side of the car. Like literally every single suspension component had to be replaced. You know, we're gonna try a couple things tonight that we don't normally get to try. Um, so hopefully it works, you know, got a whole new engine and transmission set up in the thing. So, you know, that's a variable right there, but didn't do anything too crazy. You know, we kind of have an idea of what the changes we made are gonna do. So uh, all we can do is test it and see. My expectations for tonight, you know, I just want a nice clean run. I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We are all loaded up, ready to go, and our next stop will be Sumter Speedway. Got my buddy Mike right here. Um, it's just me and him tonight. Uh, he's driving the, the Keller car, this car right here behind us. So he's getting it ready for Lakeview. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, we just do a setup at it, and we're gonna see what it does. <laughs> I'm kind of in the same boat. It's first time with the the K stuff in a hatch, so we're gonna see how it works out. But uh, I'm ready for it. Got the car all serviced, and uh, now we're just waiting on hot laps. doing pulls up and down the road the other day this thing was ripping so I'm excited to see what she's going to do I just want to give a shout out to Sumter Speedway for having us tonight so we actually have a series race here next season it's a good little time to test and tune you know um, this track hasn't always been the greatest to me kind of seemed like I have good luck and bad luck but um, more bad luck than good luck so we're going to try to change that tonight hopefully this thing will uh, you know hopefully the night will go smooth and you know, we won't have to do too much work to the car when we get home, but we'll see how these changes work out. We got a hot lap qualifying coming up here in just a minute. 
and um, that will set our times for the future race. After that, you know, we'll just go into the, the future and I think it's like 15 or 20 laps. qualified fourth and uh, the track was super muddy but not totally surprised with that you know they've gotten a bunch of rain uh, I know I was in Walterboro last night it was just steady downpouring and that's not not very far from here I made a couple little changes I uh, went to a smaller tire because I was trying to run second gear with a really big tire and I was still on the chip uh, with the, the track being muddy the way it was uh, I was just spinning like crazy so I might go down to third gear put a smaller tire on it um, but I'm a little worried. The transmission's been popping out of third gear. Uh, I need to rebuild that thing. I just haven't had time. So I'm gonna throw a bungee cord around it. Just go from first to third. It's really only gonna hurt me on the restarts because I'm gonna have to fire off in third gear and uh, it's gonna be a little boggy, but uh, hopefully I can get the tires kind of spun up with the way that the track is and uh, you know, kind of get Get a good start you know i do want to say this about sumter speedway uh over the last couple years they have put a lot of work into this place to making it nice shout out to those guys for you know putting the effort in and you know giving us a place to race and uh, i also want to give a shout out to my buddy rye bread ryan williams he's on the mic check out his page when you guys get a chance it's talking dirt but yeah we're gonna roll off fourth like i said and we're gonna see what we can do this is in true import outlaws fashion. You know, sometimes you just gotta make things work. Yeah, I actually just went and looked at the track and it looks really good. So hats off to you guys at Sumter, putting us on a good track. So I was a little worried earlier, but uh, it came around. I haven't done one of these by myself in a while. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot more work when you don't have an extra set of hands helping. I'm missing my wife and Kate here and I'm missing Jason, um, you know, they're, uh, they're a damn good team to have, so uh, moments like this make you thankful, that's for sure. I really feel like I probably could have got a faster lap in qualifying, but honestly, I just drove really bad, so <laughs> I don't do good on tracks like that. Um, it was just super slick, and the car was really loose because of some of the adjustments I made, so. But yeah, with the way that the track is right now, we should be all right, so I'm feeling pretty good about it.
guys. We brought all stage fry at home in third last night. Just kind of, we were fighting a little bit of a handling issue. So um, whenever I'd get on the brakes going down the turn, you know, the car just be like darting sideways. It wasn't real great. So some of the changes I made just made the car way too loose. So definitely gotta gotta work on that. Overall, the car was great. I mean, it ran great and. You know, just outside of needing a tune, I mean, that thing's gonna be ready to rip. I think we're hitting on something good here. It had plenty of power, it felt great. Our next one, it's gonna be at Lakeview for the SVRA series. It's next weekend. That track's up in Nickel, South Carolina. It's one of my favorite tracks to go to, so um, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm ready to get back in the number 18, so that thing's been rolling this year, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good about this one.